Hello, people of the internet. I am Solarak Dragon, and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. When we last left off, we had sadly had to say goodbye to Squaddy Polovov, the super assault, or no, super support that had powered us through the first two missions. She sadly died in combat from the Outsider's Light Plasma Rifle. We already took our moment of silence with her. We also finished off the research for weapon fragments, so we can now start a new project. Um, all I, well, part of me really wants those beam weapons. It's 34 days, so I cannot afford that. Instead, we'll do alien materials, which is only 8 days, thankfully. We're going to try and go with the quickest things instead of trying to beeline towards beam weapons. So, alien materials. The aliens appear to be using materials that are lighter and stronger than anything we've ever seen. A cursory examination has already given us ideas on for ways to improve the soldier's current body armor, but more research is required. So still take five weapons fragments. I expected Let's start. that would be a priority research task, Commander. <sighs> yes, I'll begin allocating resources to the project immediately. And since we now have unlocked scope, we will purchase two of those as well us down to 100 credits not the best total credit number but still we will have a satellite in four days which we will launch so scan for that activity it was actually pretty early in the month that we got those missions that we Our got satellite so is and standing could by for be a little bit we, are ready we might not get another mission orders. this month unless it's a council mission uh, launch the satellite so as i said before i am going to be launching in the um european con countries Oh, that would be decent, but no. no. Um, or maybe... No, we need to do European, because... While these are good for the total bonus, these provide more money overall, especially Russia. Wow. And the expert knowledge perk is best, as well as some scientists, because that will reduce research time. Um, I think I'm going to go with Russia, because that's an additional 150 per month. Launch the satellite. Yep. Capacity. And we will reroute Raven 2. When selecting a specific oh. jet within the hangar, you can choose to modify its current weapon loadout Europe. to best serve our needs. Yes, Dr. Shen, I will go over that all. I will go over all of that the once I get some By interceptor upgrades. So, scan for more activity. Anyways, how is everybody doing? I, oh, I got an abduction. After all. We're tracking several okay. reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. Alright, thank you, Bradford. So, in Mumbai, India, we have a difficult mission for four scientists. In Port Elizabeth, South Africa, we have a difficult mission for a sergeant a support. And in the UK, we have a difficult mission for 200 credits. Now, let's check this situation board. So, if we were to do South Africa, then only we would lose all of Europe. I cannot accept that. I cannot accept that. I cannot accept losing your all of Europe because panic increases by two across the board and that would mean France, UK, and Germany would all be at level five panic compared to just Egypt and South Africa. Now, while the all in bonus is amazing, it truly is, I need that research expertise or whatever it was primarily so we are going to be going to europe for ironically even more money so in manchester the united kingdom for 200 credits a difficult mission uh since you're in a heavy you will not be needing the um med kit instead you'll be getting a scope okay um what is the better will so you have 50, 66 will. You want the person with the most will to be at the head of the squad. Nope, so then you will... No, I don't want you. Um, who was it? It was Domingo Soto, wasn't it? Yeah, she was the one. Alright, you are going to be getting a med kit. So hopefully you can be our support replacement. Our sniper will be getting a scope. And our assault will be getting a med kit since he has the most movement currently. We have no dedicated support though, so let's hope we don't die. Go mission! Let's launch. Alright, let's get a drink. Something else 
else I've learned is while recording, you also want some form of liquid nearby, Prepare because for all the talking you do one. will dry out your throat. But trust me on that. So the Operation next site is in the UK. Yes. This will be vengeance. Local vengeance government forces for poor Polino, alien attack, or however you pronounce her name, that was tragically cut on down last mission. Area. Launch the mission. And we're landing. Alright. Still have a sniper. I really can't wait till I get some upgrades for her so that she can actually be useful in a fight. Because, quite frankly, right now snipers are not too useful. Um, so this map. This is a pretty big one, if I remember correctly, so... Heading out. There. Want to be very, very careful. Sniper always moves last. Just in case. I'm on it, Commander. Squatty go. And... On the move. Salt go. Okay, so we don't have any enemies in sight. Getting it done. Okay, so overwatches and hunker downs all around us. Hunker down and overwatches everywhere. If you can hear that meowing, it's my cat. He has stopped pooping on the ground in his little room, so now he has advanced to the point where he has access to the room I record in, since it's pretty much adjacent to the room that he was being kept in to make sure he didn't poop outside the box. So, his training's coming along nicely. I'll probably detail that more in my Minecraft videos, if I do at all, because really, litter box training or cat isn't the most exciting thing to talk about, but sometimes I'm strapped for talking, for topics to talk about, so I might talk about that kind of stuff. But, in this game, I'm gonna only talk about random stuff when I am not in the heat of combat, which it is right now, quite frankly, because... Well, there is definitely some sectoids out there we have not encountered. I'm on the move. Any. Enemy spotted. There we go. A two. Really? Two sectoids only? Okay. Not able to see us. I'm on the move. Soto, your time to shine. Just checking this. Yep, the uh, hot covers was preventing you from getting a good shot off. And you still got the kill. Okay. Nice job, Soto. Overwatch, and... You're gonna just overwatch from there, because I don't trust the aliens not to be a sniper sh shot you. Yeah, my cat's meowing up a storm. I really don't know if you can hear him or not. I'm trying to get him over to come close to me so I can pet him, but... It just seems intent on looking at the meowing at the ceiling right now. Oh, good, she's alive here. still. Okay, let's get you in a bit closer for another shot. There now. Really stating That's where the corpse of your for. old friend is might not have been the best idea, dude. Let's see if it wasn't. And it wasn't. You took two damage. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not perfect, but still. Huh. I'm debating now. Debating actually if I should have sent this guy over here. Because I have not seen any aliens. Okay, you can dash. There's no aliens this way. Okay, and... Okay, we could launch a rocket at a one health alien. No, that'd be a waste of a rocket. We gotta hope we can take it down with this. Wow. Nope. That's Adjusting a sights. Sniper Solid move. Copy. Okay, and hunker down. Doesn't reach to there, so we're at risk a bit. And we have more sectoids. Enemies rolling not good, up. not good, not good. Okay, that moves. They're moving good. around the side. Though still, he is now isolated with two aliens at his side. Which is not a good thing. Got it. We didn't see the other one like I thought we might have. Okay. I'm on it, Commander. And that's my cat pretty picking at the up. box. And we have even more sectoids left. So currently we know there's a total of five sectoids left. We have four squad members, one of whom is completely isolated with two sectoids, so that's not good. Um, we want to get him out of there, actually, just so he doesn't die a painful, horrible death. 
Over there, there's two. Over here, there's two. Hmm. Yeah, this is not looking good for him. Not good at all. Heading Over there, dude. He's getting currently, currently a sight of nine. Okay, take the shot. Okay, one down. So it's four on four right now. He's down. That's confirmation. Four on four. Our heavy take a rocket shot. No, she cannot. So it's nope. I don't want you to reload. I meant to Overwatch you. Damn it. Okay. Sniper move in. Hook her down. And you Overwatch it. Okay. Will our assault survive? That is the question. It's a miss. Damn no it. surprise. Because that is a long ways away. Uh, excuse me. And he's mind melding too. Interesting. And that alien is doing a double movement. Okay. Overwatch and. Are you gonna take the shot or no? You're taking the shot, not the one I wanted you to. Okay. This is the time for rock. It would be the time for a rocket if we could make the shot, but we can't. So, well, actually, I'm not gonna make the shot. I'm not gonna make a movement with her just yet. Okay. No. No. Take the 63% chance shot. Okay. He's down. Out of rounds. We need this shot. You to hit that car. Rockets away. Hit that last car. Thank you. You may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when Rock. using explosives. Two for one. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts Sniper. we're hoping Overwatch. to recover from the bodies. And you. Just something to consider. There. No, you can run and gun. You're running and gunning. Running at the speed of death. Running at the speed of death. That's right, bro. That's Moving right. The there. Corpus. And only 98% chance, really, because he's in cover. Well, you're at the same cover as my dude. Oh no. That's not good. That's really not good. Really, you shoot at your own squad member. Okay, so we have two that are bleeding out. At least they didn't die. I'm on the move. And there's two more sectoids, really? Really? So we have three turns to kill three enemies. And we can't even get sight. So, so they're gonna die. Of course they're gonna die. That's my luck. Don't you know it? I don't kill the sectoid with a 98% chance shot, and two more are just waiting in the hiding area. Lovely. What was that? Those damn sectoids. And you? Why do you have to? Why did you have to panic? You hint. Aye, aye, commander. Right. So we're gonna lose our assault and our super squad. Unless we can get some miracles here. And, I don't know, kill the brain, the mind melding alien and that one quickly enough. Of course, that one's just gonna move further back. Or he's gonna overwatch. Yeah, that's fine too. Such a great start, too. Now everything's just gone down the shitter. Okay, so that's one bye down. Bye. But we won't be able to way. take down these other two within the course of this turn. So, say goodbye to, um, we'll, we'll say goodbye next turn. Hunker down. My sniper. It's 
Say goodbye to Squatty Aoki and Rookie Soto. The two best ones we had. Lovely. Affirmative. Uh, I knew my luck would turn around one at some point. My luck sucks. So, it was natural that I would lose the three best soldiers I had after three ama after two amazing missions. What was that? That's just luck for me. It sucks. And I do not know why. Please take it out with a sniper rifle round. Or miss. Negative damage. Completely and totally miss. And who are you shooting at? I haven't. At least you missed. Okay. Come on. You know where the melt is. I don't care right now. We're gonna take the shot with our sniper first. Because she somehow has a better chance. Okay. 32% chance. Come on. You can do it. And you did do it. Not complete damage that I wanted, but still it's better than nothing. And you go heavy. Destroy its cover, at least. I don't recall shooting that. Now that's in high cover. I'm taking fire. At least it missed. For now. That's gonna be moving closer and taking a shot. Incoming over here! Okay, okay. Sniper, you're moving here. Okay. And you're gonna pistol shoot this sucker in the back of the head and kill it. There you go. Down. Boy. One down. Now, 35% chance shot. We need to kill it, otherwise our sniper's pretty much dead. dead in the water. So our sniper's dead. And you might be dead if you don't. Down. So Squaddy O'Connor's dead. Reload. Let's do this. I knew it would happen. I just knew it. Over My here. luck sucks royally. I mean, look at this. I'm pretty much at a standoff with this sector. I lost Kill almost my whole squad, but my heavy. Another day, another successful operation. Not much of a success, to be perfectly honest, Bradford. <sighs> Not much of one. Transfer complete. Oh, Raven 2 arrived in Europe, so... If only there was something we could have done. Some <sighs> aspect of our research that we perhaps overlooked. So Rip, Squatty Tracy O'Connor, Squatty Katsumi Aoki, and Rookie Domingo Soto. We unlock the International Service Cross and another Urban Combat Badge. But, it doesn't matter because we just we'll be lost watching. two of our best soldiers. We're down to 12 again, so let's hire some more. The three soldiers to be hired. Good. And... Uh, yep. Mission control. Yep, panic in Egypt and South Africa. Scan for the activity. Well, alien materials is done, so let's read this off. <clears throat> Research report. Code name: Looking Glass. Our understanding of the alien materials is limited at best, and we could spend years deciphering the complex manufacturing processes required to produce and manipulate these substances. However, we have managed to crudely adapt some of the observed techniques into our own research. Our first development, multi-walled multi carbon nanotube weave, was modeled after an unusual pattern mirrored in several of the alien materials. This new configuration has proven to be possess a greater tensile strength than any material previously recorded in known science. Adapting this fiber into an armor reinforcing vest will surely afford our soldiers increased protection on the battlefield. New item available, nanofiber vest. Made from a dense weave of nanotube fibers, this lightweight vest provides extra damage absorption to the wearer. Use buy slash build item tab option in engineering to manufacture this item. 
So we got that, and it also unlocked the Carapace Armor, which we can't do right now, which leaves us between Meld Recombination and Experimental Warfare. Hmm. Let's do Experimental... Let's do Meld Combination. Commander, research. I realize our troops have to put their own survival first, but every alien we use explosives against is one less opportunity to recover new artifacts. I understand that, Val, but if I hadn't used the explosive, that last mission would have been a total team wipe. No questions. Uh, shouldn't get any more missions. Satellite coverage now so, over we'll scan through Russia. kill the council report. Now, Incoming transmission. and we lose Hello, Commander. both. Much to our regret, a number of council members have recently withdrawn their support. So, work, Africa Commander. is pretty much a bust. This we don't have to worry about Africa anymore. To see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. We hope that your current successes only mark the beginning of an enduring effort to eliminate the extraterrestrial threat. It will. Dude, it will, but we just lost all of Africa because of one mission. We'll carry on. We will be in touch, Commander. Oh, yes, we will. Um, I wonder. Can we what little I've seen of their technology, build anything yet? If the aliens okay, we can build the laboratory. Earth. There's not much we could do uh, to but stop not them. The workshop. I'm guessing they have something else. We haven't in unlocked mind. the workshop yet. But we can build a, re a laboratory. So, build a laboratory there. Excavate that. Purchase alien containment housing. Begin. And yeah, that works for now. Okay. So we will do this and get this cutscene that we missed last time. Real cool one, too. So, what is it, Doctor? It's remarkable. The crystalline structure housed within the canister is actually a suspension containing billions of cybernetic nanomachines, each made up of both organic and mechanical components. My team's analysis indicates these microscopic robots are capable of assembling mechanical structures with unprecedented efficiency. With further study and some specialized facilities, we may be able to engineer a sort of cybersuit that interfaces with the human body. My team is more interested in the possibility of physically altering the tissue itself, incorporating aspects of the alien's own genetic adaptations by using the nanites to fuse the foreign material. The commander will have to decide where the greatest advantage lies. Is there anything you agree on? Given the apparent purpose of the nanites, they allow combining organic materials with one another, or with machines. We have at least agreed to call them... Meld. Meld. Now, wasn't that an epic cutscene? I really do apologize for skipping out on it last time, but I think the wait was worth it. So, meld recombination, done. Assign new research, but we'll read this off. Research report, code name, purity. The amazing, this amazing material's most salient feature is its versatility. In early testing, we were able to devise several methods that allowed for direct manipulation of the melt substance and its physiochemical properties. While searching all records for any references to material with similar properties, I have uncovered a number of redacted data stores created in the 1960s, but much of that information appears to have been lost. In any case, the advances we have made should allow for a wide range of application in the fields of genetic modification and cybernetic enhancement. Although we will need to build dedicated facilities to enable these potential research pathways, it is probable that the invaders are more familiar with MELD than we are, and may already be fielding combat elements that take full advantage of these capabilities. So that's the MELD research, and like I already said it once, but I'll say it again, that was an awesome cutscene, especially the ending. So, new facility available, Cybernetics Lab. Here, we will be able to build mechanized exoskeletal cybersuits, mechs, and augment soldiers to wear them. This facility counts as a workshop for adjacency benefits. Use the Build Facilities option in the Engineering to construct this facility. New facility available, Genetics Lab. 
This annex to the research labs will allow us to genetically modify our soldiers. This facility counts as a laboratory for adjacency benefits. Use the Build Facilities option in Engineering to construct this facility. New gene mod available. Adaptive Bone Marrow. Wound recovery time is reduced by 66%. Stacks with rapid recovery. Soldier regenerates 2 HP per turn, up to max HP without armor. Depth Perception. Height advantage confers an additional 5 aim and 5 crit percent chance. Hyper Reactive Pupils. Confers plus 10 aim on any shot after a miss. Mech Ward. Mech available. Mech 1 Warden. Kinetic Strike Module. A powerful arm upgrade for the mech allowing the wheel to pulverize adjacent cover and enemies also boosts mobility. Or, Flamethrower allows the mech to lay waste in a cone-shaped area. Flames can spill outside of the aiming area. So we unlocked both the Gene Lab and the Cybernetics Lab. We'll start on the Experimental Warfare end. As you can see, already the research is greatly reduced because we have seven scientists. Uh, excuse me. Except for the Arc Thrower, strangely enough, it's still 12 days. Anything experimental warfare. Anyways, we'll do experimental warfare since that's only nine days I out. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. You're welcome, Valen. And we'll go to build facilities because we are running a bit low on power, so we'll build an access loop there so we can then clear out so we can build another power generator there. But other than that, we'll scan for activity, see if we can get a new one. A new mission before I end up having to this episode up. Operational. So access lift done. We can build facilities. Workshop is still not available, sadly enough. But we can excavate there. And mission control. Scan for activity. Okay, so we do have a small scout over Brazil. We'll send the Sky Ranger to Oh, it's landed too. Cool. Um, so we'll edit these units. Uh, she is not too great, so she can just get a med kit. Oh, I forgot to purchase the nano... I'm going to actually purchase stuff real quick from engineering. Go buy items. I want some nanofiber vests. Shoe, please. Thank you, Shen. Good. Back, back. Back to mission control. UFO landing site. Send the Sky Ranger. Okay, so Squatty Jones, our heavy, is going to maintain the scope. Rookie Lebediva can have the med kit. You are currently hopeful best, so you're gonna get the nanofiber vest, so you can survive a little bit longer. And you are decent enough, you'll get a scope as well. Okay, so this will be our squad for the next mission. I'll start the mission, but otherwise, this is my call, -off, my cutoff point. So this. Well, this mission will be called Operation... Strike one. Oh, that was right next to us. Operation Cold Strike. Brazilian authorities have requested so, our help. I have been Solar so Dragon. I next. do hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, leave some feedback Reports in the form the like or a comment. A and if you area. want a soldier Please named to have their appearance to the look invaders. like you, then drop me a comment or send me a message. Otherwise, subscribe if you want to check out more content from me. And I hope... And once again, I do hope you have all enjoyed. Enjoy these videos and have a nice day. Bye.